Hey guys, uh, Mud here. This video here is going to be on this uh, new microscope that I got. Uh, I ordered it off of Amazon. Uh, there's been others that use it. Uh, and I have tried it out and used it on some videos, but I want to go through it. And that way you can make an informed decision if you want one of these. Or what I was currently using, which was the pluggable microscope. And I'm going to go over the pros and the cons of this microscope and the pros and cons of this microscope um let me go ahead and uh i'll go with this one first now when it comes in the box it's actually in four pieces this right here this little piece is not attached to the base uh there's two allen head screws now you get an allen head screwdriver and you just put them on there tighten them up and you got a good solid base. Now, this this here is the rail that the scope sits in, and it's got this little tightening screw, and then you've got these two screws here that raise it up and down like a uh, microscope that you would have used in science class or biology. So, uh, real easy to uh, assemble this. First, you put the uh, this piece here, this threaded piece, into the base, which is aluminum. And then you just sit there, put this in, and you screw it in. Get this tightened up. This That right there locks in the... Uh, so, we'll just spin it in here. And then... You notice it goes to a certain spot. Well, you can move it and then take this screw or nut underneath here. And when you get it where you want, you put it down and that tightens it in. Now you'll notice on the side of this ring that you have two screws. Now, those screws are used for whenever you put this microscope inside of here that's what tightens it up so you just slide this down it'll bottom out and you take the two screws get it turned around backwards here maybe you can see all right you take your two screws and you tighten them up okay now, now it's all tight. You just barely snug that so you can raise this up and down and it'll slide up and down and you can adjust how you want it. Uh, now, now that I've got it assembled, this is what it looks like. This is what you're going to see. Uh, now this is a standalone microscope, so you do not have to plug it into your computer if you do not want to. Uh, there's a rechargeable battery back here. You have a spot for an SD card here so that you can, uh, if you're done standalone, you can record what you've got. Now I'll kind of go over just the simple stuff on this. To power it up, you hold the power button till it flashes okay and that's going to come on and if you don't have the cable connected to it it'll go straight into it so you've got that now it's got this usb cord that plugs right into the top here and we'll power it down just hold that. Now let's plug it into the computer real quick. Now it does have uh, some software that goes with it. All right. Now you can see I'm plugged into the computer and it's sitting there charging. Now, if you want to use this, 
when it's plugged into the computer you're going to get this little menu now to use it with your pc you go to pc camera and this lets it run and you can see it on your cam on your uh, laptop or pc or whatever that's what that menu is for now if you want it to charge and still be able to use it you go to the charging mode you hit okay now it's charging and it's you can also see what's going on now it will not project over onto the pc at this time but you're keeping it charged so that's how that is set up let me get this camera rearranged here all right now let me find the coin real quick i just happen to have a nickel right here now on the bottom here it comes with this little cap you want to take this cap out otherwise it'll get blurry so what i like about this so we'll slide that right there okay now you can see everything that's going on now if you're out of focus there's this your focus is right here so all you do is just turn this until you get it focused in all right and what i like about this one is if i want to see more of the coin i can go all the way to the top all right we're not all the way to the top but you can see more of the coin and it is you can see a lot of it and it's got good focus so it's really good i really like this microscope i haven't done a whole lot of the other options on it i've just done this option that we're on now the charging mode and the pc so you know i really like it i will put a description or a link to this scope in the description it's like i said it's fast on focusing you can bump it and you don't lose your focus so that is a big plus now let me power this one down all right i'll unplug it get it out of the way all right now with this one here i'm gonna have to uh let me get it to where i can use it on my computer because that's the only way that you can use this one oops sorry about that i said i had this unwound at the beginning but i didn't all right that's enough all right we got her plugged in open the uh, program it says it's being used on another application okay let me shut that down real quick all right all right let me get this reset here this out of the way all right now with this one we got to go to menu on our digital microscope 
and that didn't go to the microscope. All right, we've got our digital microscope. You can set the resolution. You hit apply. Let me bring this closer to you here so you can see what's going on. All right. Now, now I'm gonna kind of go over some issues with this one here. Let me get this tripod off. That way we can. All right. So we got it on there. Let me get it closer. All right. Now I'm gonna put that same nickel underneath. Now let me zoom it. Get the uh, zoom right. All right. Now it zooms pretty good, and you got a pretty good picture. It's a lot bigger picture than what I had on the other. But the thing is, if I'm doing a bunch of coins and moving them around, I end up hitting this. And at times, it can get... Uh, Heck, that might even be a double eye right there. But uh, it can get out of focus. And if you're trying to get close, it's just seems like it's uh, with the flexible neck, it's a lot harder to get it in focus the way that I like it. So, yeah, that's a double eye. That's why I had it up there, but. Anyway, it's not a bad machine or a bad microscope. It's just I don't like the way that you got to constantly move and get it. And if you, you know, trying to get the way you want it. Now, a lot of times you once you get it set, it's all right. But it's uh, it moves around a lot. You can see this is pretty flexible. So it moves around a lot. Once you get it set, I'm sure it's, it is fine. Don't get me wrong. Uh, the lighting is okay. Sometimes it gets too bright, but you know, it will self adjust on the lighting. Let me move this. I'm going to go as bright as it it go. And then that's as low as it goes. You can see how it does that little flash because that's sitting there adjusting itself once you get to certain spots. Now, I'm not saying that this is a bad microscope. It's not. It's a good microscope. I think I paid $39 for it. It is a good microscope, good starter. But, uh, I just, after getting this one, I like this one more. And another thing on this one is all you got holding it on is a suction cup. Now there's a, uh, the, the surface is textured except for this little ring where the scope sits and it locks down, but there's been times I've used it and this has popped loose and I've had to reset everything. You do have a good area to put stuff on. Now coins, obviously we just need a small area. So, you know, it's all in preference. I prefer this one over this one now. Uh, I do like the camera feature. So whenever I see something I like, I can push that and it will take a picture of it. So these are the two microscopes I use. I'll use it just more likely I'll be using this one more. I uh, have this one as a backup because you always need a backup just in case. So I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying these are the little issues that I came have run into with this microscope. This one here, I haven't used it enough to uh, 
run into any issues. The, the main issue that I don't like is this plastic piece right here. Uh, and the reason I don't like it is if I'm trying to get down really close to a coin, you know, you lose an inch of magnification being able to get real close to that coin. Now, it's still going to be a good mag magnification. It's just, I wish this was a lot shorter. You know, I, I agree you need some kind of protection around that. But I wish that was a lot shorter. Uh, because if you're trying to get super, you can't get in there to get the some of the magnification that you might actually want. So I wish this was removable or something that way so you could move. Because with small coins, you just don't have the uh, ability to move it in the ways that you want without sitting and turning the coin and all that. Now with this one, it does have the shorter uh, protective glass, but what I've done is uh, one thing that helps me is I made this out of a pill bottle that I had. I just cut it down, leveled it out, and what I'll do is get this set a little bit higher. And then you can slide it underneath. And that helps out a lot with movement. And I will use it on this too. This one too. But this helps me get better without having to put it way down, you know, down here and trying to move it around. But anyway, those are the two microscopes I use. I will put a link for both of them in the description. And uh, they're relatively cheap, you know, for what they are. So, you know, it's all on personal preference. Right now, I will be using this one. Uh, I will have this one for backup. So, anyway, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe and share. And I will see you on the next hunt.